In this video, we're going to talk about how to make computations on data. So sometimes uh, we can do th some things with the data values to get more useful data values. So in this case, we're looking at data on cars. Uh, we've got, uh, for instance, we have the price of the car in, represented in this column, and we have the weight of the car represented in this column. Now, this may be a kind of a silly thing to do, but maybe I wanted to compute the price per pound of the car. All right, so what I want to do is I want to take price numbers and divide by the weight numbers. How will we do this? Well, what we'll do is we'll go to data and we will go down to compute. And we want to compute an expression, that, that division that I just talked about. All right, so we go here. Now we need to build our expression. So we go over to build. Now, what did I want to do? I wanted to take the price and divide by weight. So I'll select price and make sure you click it. I had to double click it until it appears up here in the expression box. And then I will hit the divide symbol. And then I will cl uh, click weight so that it appears in the expression box. And I go ahead and hit OK. And uh, let's give a label for our column. Let's do PPLB, price per pound, all right? So that'll be the name of our new column. You'll want to name it something so that you can refer to it later and know what you're referring to. And when we hit compute, you'll see that we now have a new column called PPLB, and it's got those prices divided by those weights right here. So this is something that we can use. Now maybe, you know, I'm looking at these values and I'm noticing they're all very, very small. So uh, maybe I would want to do something instead of price per pound, Notice that these prices are in thousands of dollars. So this is actually thousands of dollars per pound. Maybe I just want dollars per pound. So what I want to do here is I actually want to multiply all these numbers by a thousand. So let's go do that again and make our, you know, adjust our computation a little bit. So um, notice that since I did it before, it saves the computation that I did before. So if you ever want to repeat some similar computation, just click in this box and select the computation that you did before. So I can do some manipulation on this. I can write times um, 1,000. So this way I'll get back to the dollars per pound. So let's do uh, dollars per uh, pound. I'll use LB for pound. All right, that'll be my column label. So there we go. So I've done the same computation, but I've multiplied everything by 1,000. So now instead of just thousands of dollars per pound, I have dollars per pound. So that's more reasonable values to look at over here. So this is how we make computations based on data.